Hey guys, today we're going to be breaking down Mitch Dollar's Shadows of Evil Easter Egg. Now, I want you to keep a few things in mind while you're watching this Easter Egg Guide. The first thing is that me and my friends took over 30 hours to find this Easter Egg. That's why this guide might be a little longer than I would like it to. The second thing is that if you're assembling this solo, this will take you about an hour and a half if your box pick is fairly good and you would need to get about round 50 to complete one step. So what I would recommend you doing is complete this with four people or three, but four people is probably the best. But, um, it, yeah, it'll just make your life way easier and everything. Alright, but, uh, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so the first step is to actually activate Pocket Punch. If right. you do not know how to do that already, I will link my friend's video in the description below. But after you activate Pocket Punch and do the ritual for Pocket Punch, there should be a glowing green skull in Pocket Punch Room. You want to go ahead and shoot that first. Now, after you've activated the skull in Pocket Punch, you want to go ahead and make your way back to spawn. Now you want to go ahead and go up the stairs in the very, very back of the alley of spawn. Now if you look where I'm looking in the footage you're seeing right now, the skull should be right here every single time. And same with the second skull. Now for the third skull, you want to go ahead and make your way over to the middle area. Go right in front of the gate to Waterfront District, look on top of a building, and you should see a glowing green skull. Okay, for the fourth skull, you want to go ahead and make your way over to Juggernog. Go past Juggernog into the room, turn left, and look under the railing, and then you should be able to see it. Now, you're still in Waterfront, and what you want to go ahead and do is make your way over to the boxing area, and you should see a boat with a green skull on top of it. Now for the sixth goal, you want to go ahead and make your way all the way over to canals. Now you want to go all the way to the strippers lounge and do 180 at the bridge right before the strippers lounge. Now after you shot that for the seventh goal, you want to go ahead and go in the actual strippers lounge and on the first floor, there will be a green skull in the left hand corner of the strippers lounge. Now we're on to the burlesque area. The first skull in burlesque is actually right next to the beast mode. And then right in the little door where the apartment is, there's a green skull that's right there. The second one in burlesque is actually the area where the theater is. It is very high on top of a building. Now after you've shot in all the green skulls, run back over to burlesque and right underneath the mystery box, there should be a little area that there was a box previously, but it's not there anymore. And you should be able to grab a precision trigger. Now after you've gotten this, head back to spawn and go to Nero's room. There should be a little crafting table on the left hand side right as soon as you enter Nero's room. You want to put that trigger inside of the corresponding consumable button. Head back to spawn, grab beast mode, run back up to Nero's place, in the very very back of the room there should be a breakable box, shoot it and then grab the Apothecan egg. Now after you have left beast mode, you want to head right back to the middle and stand in the capture area for about 30 seconds or so. Now there are four of these capture areas, one right in front of the strippers lounge, one right in front of the movie theater, one right in front of the boxing ring area, and then obviously one in the middle. Now after you're done the red ritual zones, you want to go over to Juggernog in the little room where you find the, when you found the green skull, there should be a trigger in there. Pick it up and take it to Nero's room in the same place you took it with the green skulls. Now after you have done this, it's time for the hardest part of this easter egg in my opinion. Now this video is going to be about 40 minutes if I try and describe every single location that the blue flames are in. So for the video's sake, I'm just going to tell you guys how many are in each area. There are two in Burlesque, two in Spawn, one in the middle area, there are two in Canal, and then one in Taco Punch.
Now after you shoot all the blue flames, you should go down Psycho Punch and there should be another trigger there. You want to take that one into the Nero's room and get the torch after you've placed that in there. Now that you have picked up the torch, you want to go down to the middle area, you want to follow where I'm heading, then you want to go and place the torch in the box and then burn down that little area. Now after you've done that, there should be a Joel Llama in there that requires 50 brick to pick up. Now if you're trying to do this solo, you're going to need to be on 50 plus rounds in order to be able to get to the step. Which is why at the beginning of the video, I suggest that you try this with 4 people, because it's very very hard to do this on single player. But all you're going to do is, if you're not on round 50 or, or above, just have all your teammates drop your brick and then you'll be able to grab the jewel. But after you have grabbed the jewel, run down to the boxing area and then in the ritual that you did earlier, in the red ritual step, there should be a consumable button. Click it and then our ritual will start. Now after you've completed the ritual, you would get a text on your screen that says, I am that duck. What this means is that you have to shoot all purple ducks that are around the map. Again, the video would be really, really long if I try and describe each and every position of where they're at. So from now on, for every single step like this, I'm going to be giving you the amount of them that are in each area. And then you would be able to follow along of what's playing on the screen. Now you want to make your way back over to spawn. There are two that are on top of buildings that are very, very far and very high up. There's one on top of a building inside the middle area. Two in Burlesque, one on a building ledge right in front of the entrance gate. And then one more on a very, very high part of a building right after the portal to pack a punch. Two purple ducks in the waterfront district. There's one in the room right behind Juggernaug. And there's one on the bridge right before you get to the tram. There are two in the canal district. There's one on top of a building that you have to shoot while you're on a bridge, but I can't really describe this, so I'll just let the footage take over. And then there's one in the stripper lounge on the second floor behind a privacy screen. And then there's one right behind Pack-A-Punch in the Pack-A-Punch area. Now after you shot all these ducks, it's time to pack a punch every single gun. There are 11 guns to pack a punch. There's the TAC AR, drum gun, heavy shotgun, burst AR, SMG, AK, AR, infantry rifle, pump, tactical shotgun, and the starting gun, the revolver. Now after you've pack a punch every single gun, it's time to shoot all the Mario Grotex all over the map. There's 15 of these that you have to shoot while in beast mode. Plus, there are so many Maragwas chasing after you and they one shot you if you do not have a perk now i'm gonna take back about what i said earlier about the spider step being the hardest step no this is actually the hardest step because you have 40,000 margos attacking you all at once and it's so annoying so what i would recommend doing is having your best player go around with no jug or any perk and go in beast mode and get all the margo text and i'm tired so i want to get this done so i'm just gonna let the footage show you where everything is from this point on because this is the last step
Thank you guys for watching this video and if you guys would please go down in the description and support my man's Jawa, that'd mean everything. And uh, that's about it for today. See you guys later.